Welcome to my lecture online. The effectiveness of the molecules in the atmosphere to absorb the energy and keep the, the Earth nice and comfortably warm depends on a number of things. First of all, we realized if the only the absorption spectrum was dependent on vibrational motion of the molecules themselves and nothing else, the world would still be frigidly cold. Vibrational modes only could not keep the world, the world warm. But then we realized that it's not just the vibrational modes, but a combination of the vibrational modes and the rotational modes, and then realizing that the different jumps of the rotational modes cause different energy differences so that the spectrum is smeared out and able to absorb many more different kinds of frequencies that does keep the world a little bit warmer. But still, the world would be a lot cooler if it only could, could absorb the vibrational rotational modes of the quantum steps only. So let me explain here. So here we have the central peak where the, there's no change in the vibrational modes. I, I should say no change in the rotational modes, but only a change in the vibrational modes. So it's using the increase in the vibrational energy by absorbing that specific frequency, which is associated in the case of carbon dioxide. The bending, the bending uh, frequency is associated with a wave number of 667 waves per centimeter, which is associated with the infrared frequency uh, radiation of 15 micrometers. Now we see that there, if there's also, besides having a change in the vibrational state, if we have a change in the rotational state, we can see that depending upon which change in the rotational state is occurring, we will add a certain amount of energy to that. And since there's so many different kind of combinations, we can see that there's many more specific frequencies that can be absorbed on this side of the spectrum and on this side of the spectrum, giving us that very specific peculiar shape of the absorption spectrum. But even though we have all these additional frequencies we can absorb, making the world a little bit warmer, it still wouldn't be enough to make the world a comfortable place to live. Because in between, there's many places where frequencies of radiation can be, can be escaping to space, and those would not be absorbed. Only those very specific frequencies would be absorbed if that was what was going on in the atmosphere. There must be something else going on in the atmosphere to keep us nice and warm. It needs to be able to absorb way more energies than just those specific differences between the vibrational and the rotational modes. Now, trying to get a little bit more feel of what this looks like, notice when we have a change in the, vib in the uh, rotational modes from 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, and so forth, if it increases to the next higher level, every time it goes to a higher change from 2 to 3, to 3 to 4, to 4 to 5, it would require more energy, so the combination of the vibrational mode and the rotation mode causes then these various places where there would be more energy required to be absorbed to get to that next state. So instead of having a wave number 667 per centimeter for the central peak, it would be 669 for the next peak, about 671 for the next peak. It would be about a two waves per centimeter difference each time you absorb the next um, the next rotational energy difference. You can see that there's always a change in the wavelength, but the in-between part would not be absorbed. It would only absorb those very specific wavelengths. So you can see that you get a greater energy difference when you start absorbing uh, waves where we have the rotational, uh, where we have the uh, rotational energies increase from the 0 to the 1 state, the 1 to the 2 state, the 2 to the 3 state, and it would decrease the energy absorbed of the specific, uh, the specific photons when we go from the 1 to the 0, the 2 to the 1, the 3 to the 2, and so forth. So you can see that we have a different distribution. Also, the height of the curve has a meaning. It has to do with the ease at which these can be absorbed and the number of absorptions. So in other words, more of the transition states occur in this range and in this range than on this range and in this range. So you can see that the number of, of energy absorption states changes depending upon which uh, rotational state change you're talking about. But nevertheless, we have this specific curve that is peculiar to many of these absorption spectrums of the various molecules in the atmosphere. Here's just an example of what it would be like for carbon dioxide with the bending vibrational state. So now we still need to figure out why 
there's something else going on to keep us much warmer than otherwise we would be if it was only based upon these specific quantum states of absorption. So stay tuned to the next video and we'll explain what actually happens to that absorption spectrum.